Hello guys this is Groovex here, and in this video I'm gonna show you 8 games in which 4 games are multiplayer and 4 are first person shooting story games which will work like a piece of cake so, let's get started. So, in first we will start with multiplayer games. In number 4 we have Zilla. Zilla is a free 2 play online first person shooter. In Zilla you will discover real unique locations as Istanbul, northern Iraq and other places of the Middle East, as well as indoor maps. 10 maps are available for now, all of them have their own particularities and offer a unique challenge. As player, you will be able to choose between two different factions of fighters, Zilla, a group of vigilantes misunderstood as an organized crime syndicate and Gladio, an international paramilitary force that has infiltrated almost every military organization worldwide. The game has various game modes as for example Team Death Match, Capture the Flag, Free for All, Wanted or Escort, and new ones are on the way. In number 3 we have Warface. Warface is a free 2 play online first person shooter game developed by Kretek, co-produced by Kretek CL, and published by MyPoint.com The game was developed with Kretek's in-house CryEngine 3. Warface centers around online firefights in player versus player, PvP, matches, with microtransactions allowing players to purchase weapons, equipment, and cosmetic gears. In number 2 we have Paladins. Paladins is a 2018 free 2 play online hero shooter video game by Hi Res. The game was developed by Evil Mojo, an internal studio of Hi Res. Paladins takes place in a sci fi fantasy world. There are elements of both fantasy and science fiction, including medieval looking soldiers who use ranged weapons such as shotguns and assault rifles instead of swords. And in number 1 we have the king of all first person shooter, CSGO. Counter-Strike Global Offensive CSGO is a multiplayer first-person shooter video game developed by Valve and Hidden Path Entertainment. The game pits two teams against each other, the terrorists and the counter-terrorists. Both sides are tasked with eliminating the other while also completing separate objectives. And now for story in number 4 we have Far Cry 2. Far Cry 2 is a 2008 first-person shooter developed by Ubisoft Montreal and published by Ubisoft. It is the second installment of the main Far Cry series, it features completely new characters and setting, as well as a new style of gameplay that allows the player greater freedom to explore different African landscapes such as deserts, jungles, and savannas. The game takes place in a modern-day Central African nation during civil war. The player takes control of a mercenary on a lengthy journey to locate and assassinate the Jackal, a notorious arms dealer. So, in number 3 we have Call of Duty Black Ops. Call of Duty Black Ops is a 2010 first person shooter video game developed by Treyarch and published by Activision. It is set in the 1960s during the Cold War. The game's campaign follows CIA operative Alex Mason as he attempts to recall certain memories in combat. And yeah no more explanations just give this game a try as the story is great and the mechanics are really awesome. So, in number 3 we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is a 2009 first person shooter game developed by Infinity Ward and published by Activision. The game's campaign follows Task Force 141, a special forces unit fronted by Captain Soap McTavish as they hunt Vladimir Makarov, leader of the Russian ultranationalist party, and the United States Army Rangers who are defending the country from a Russian invasion. Development for the game began in 2008, when it was still known as Call of Duty 6. It uses the IW 4.0 engine, an improved version of Call of Duty 4's IW 3.0. And in number 1 we have the story King Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3 is a 2012 first person shooter developed by Ubisoft Montreal and published by Ubisoft. It is the third main installment in the Far Cry series. The game takes place on the fictional Rook Islands, a tropical archipelago which can be freely explored by players. Gamma play focuses on combat and exploration. Players can use a variety of weapons to defeat human enemies and hostile wildlife, and the game features elements found in role-playing games such as skill trees and experience. After a vacation goes awry, protagonist Jason Brody must save his friends, who have been kidnapped by pirates, and escape from the island and its unhinged inhabitants. So thanks for watching this video and yeah this is the end of the video I hope you liked my content and yeah I got the inspiration from Leviation 40 for making this type of video. Let you know.
make me kinda nervous. You do that on 